Hi! Today I will explain about our research purpose and questions and rationale assignment. During this class, you will be working on designing a qualitative study. This does not have to be your final dissertation study, but could be in an area of your interest. This way, you will have an applied understanding of qualitative research. As we go through the term, you will be completing individual parts of that research proposal, incorporate my feedback in your revisions, and then eventually submit a qualitative research proposal in a topical area of your interest. In this assignment, you will write a research purpose, identify research questions to guide your research purpose, and offer a rationale for your study. For this project, you will start to think of a topic that you might want to explore further using qualitative inquiry. Think about what you would really like to know. What are you actually passionate about? Even if you do not do a qualitative study in your dissertation or do not know what kind of study you will do, approach this project with as much sincerity as you can. This will help you gain insight to how you want to understand your topic, regardless of what unfolds for you in the future of your academic journey. Before starting with your research project, offer some introduction, background, and context for your project. What's the setting of your project? What might be some key concepts that need to be understood about your project? What might be some contextual details that would be helpful to orient the readers to your project? Next, you will write a rationale for your project, which is essentially an academic justification of your project. Try answering the following questions. What are your reasons for doing this study? What is known in the literature? Where is the gap in the literature? How is your study going to fill a gap in the literature? This rationale section should be a tightly cited two-paragraph section. Make sure you speak in terms of empirical research. In this section also, when you think of how your research could contribute to the conversation, think of the conversation in terms of empirical research. How could your research contribute to existing conversations about this topic in the research literature. Do not focus on how it could help teachers, practitioners, policymakers, etc., because that comes later in the significance and implications of the study. But we're not there yet. Next, you'll write a clearly stated purpose that provides a realistic scope of the research that includes site, sample selection, and other appropriate contextual information. We have sample assignments from previous classes. You're welcome to take a look at them and design yours accordingly. But one word of caution for all sample assignments. Do not assume that the sample assignments offered received a perfect score. They are there because most of the content is correct. Sometimes the APA formatting is incorrect, and at other times the sample assignments reflect a different kind of rubric criteria than what you will be using in this class. So use the sample assignments as a guide, but not as something that you would copy from in an exact manner. Besides, you shouldn't copy anyway. Moving on, you will be writing two to three qualitative research questions that align with the research purpose. Make sure whatever concept you have introduced in the research purpose lines up with the research questions that you're asking. Do not use the term you in your research questions. In other words, do not have a research question that says, what is your experience about topic X? That is not a research question because it's directed to some person and not to explore a topic conceptually. So research questions should be about ways in which you want to break your topic of inquiry into subtopics and then construct questions about those subtopics. Your handbook should have some exercises to guide you through this assignment. Also refer to some presentations related to this assignment for further help. End the main portion of the paper with operationalizing your construct that you have used throughout the paper in your introduction, rationale, and in your research purpose and questions. Operationalization basically means how would you know and understand this, these constructs in your study? What would be your indicators? Elaborate area-specific words, terms, jargon in operationalized terms. For example, how are you defining motivation? Or how are you defining poverty? Or what is extrinsic motivation? And as always, this is another assignment that you can revise and resubmit, so don't worry if you do not get it right the first time. Good luck, I'm looking forward to reading your work.